All right, what is going on YouTube? I'm coming on here with energy straight up live, right off the bat. So I took the camera to the gym this morning, recorded my little intro clip, and I was feeling real confident about it. You know, I was gonna get the record the lift, and then the battery light gets to blinking. And I was especially shitty because I left the house with it having a full three bars like it has now. So if it gets to getting ready to die, I'm finna lose it. <sighs> a lot has changed in the past two weeks since the Summer Shredding Classic, since I stepped on stage. Your boy got balloon face, swollen. Diet face is no more, the cheekbones have disappeared. I'm also pale, I'm, uh, I'm white, I'm yellow again, really, I'm yellow. I'm yellow again. Um, I'm up. Okay, don't tell nobody. Can y'all hear this man? He is going crazy. Don't tell nobody, but I'm up about 21 pounds from stage weight. It is 13 days after the show. Now, I was really good about maintaining a decent level of leanness after the show. My body was retaining a lot of water, but like overall I didn't gain a lot of fat. So I was sitting out right around 10 to 12 pounds post stage weight for about maybe a little over a week. And then with bringing in more calories, I'm definitely starting to, you know, get to that point where like the shreds are they're gone, face is fat, abs are disappearing. But I get my reverse diet to, on Monday, on Monday from Alex. So that is when it's back locked in. It's locked in, very structured, and I'm holding myself to it. I'm not gonna sit here and say that my reverse diet has been perfect by any means at all. I have been, I won't say fucking up, but eating more, definitely, definitely eating more in a day than I, you know, intend to or really would like to. And I don't want to make it sound too serious, but to an extent, I feel, I won't say powerless to food right now, but me and food definitely don't have the healthiest relationship. It's like, it's easier for me to not eat than to eat until I'm moderately full or like satiated and then just stop. It's like, once I eat, it's like my brain is like, what else can we eat? What else can we eat? And then that doesn't stop. It's like, I'm usually good for about half of the day and then like as soon as evening hits it's like i'm just eating and eating and eating you know probably first like seven to ten days post show i was doing fairly well and that's that's really just your leptin and ghrelin your two hunger hormones being really out of whack right now and i'm thinking it'll start to kind of balance out as long as i make an effort it'll start to kind of balance out I'm around maybe four weeks post show so i'll give it another couple of weeks but with this structured off-season plan, we are gonna jump right in to trying to build lean muscle and not get too fat. But yeah, so just a quick little recap of the show because I really did not talk about it a whole bunch. So I ended up getting fourth out of my class. Um, my class had 13 people in it. It was the biggest class and by far the most stacked class. The guy who won my class, Earl, he won the overall show. So there's that. Uh, dude, Bennett, who got second, looks fucking gnarly 20 years old same age as me well he's a few young, months younger than me but bro it looks gnarly for real his back and his chest development is ridiculous his waist is non-existent and then third place was brady oak head coach of uh taken common action and he looked he looked nuts dude his his shoulders were wide his back was wider than mine um, and guys, that is where it got me, and that is my main, my main focus this off season. My back is very underdeveloped. I definitely brought the conditioning, the leanness. I was shredded. I was the most shredded dude in my class, and I will say I was one of the most shredded dudes at the show. I'm gonna say easily top three. I lacked size. I lacked development in my back. So you know what we're doing this this off season going nuts on back. I will bring a Dorito Cobra turtle shell back next next time I step on stage. I've heard a lot of different things, um, people's opinions on you know the placement of uh, D class, which was the class I competed in, and you know honestly, I think I had a more developed, denser 
physique from the front than than the guy who got third and possibly the guy who got second. But straight up, I will I will give it to him. They everyone beat me who placed higher than me in the back department. Shows are won from the back. Backs win shows. Everyone knows that. Me just being completely honest with myself, that is something I have to improve on. So we got the plan to start attacking the off season coming. Very excited for that. Um, let's see. Back going crazy on back this off season. Uh, next time I step on stage, I already got it in my head. I already got it in my head. I'm not competing at the October summer starting, but bet your ass I'm at the one after that. And then I'm doing an NPC show around the same time. So I don't know if that'll be before the summer shredding or after it. But within maybe a two to three week time frame, I would be doing another NPC show. I debated on doing one three weeks after my show, which would have been next week. But it was like I talked to Alex and it was just like it was kind of a unanimous um, agreement that, man, like I just need to grow. I got I bring conditioning. I have a great base. But I just need to grow. I need to throw on about between eight and 12 more pounds of muscle this off season to be really competitive. And I think, I think I'm gonna be dangerous. I think I'm gonna be dangerous at eight, eight to 12 pounds more muscle. I really do. And that's not me being cocky. That's just me being, that's me seeing the potential in my physique. Huh. So there's a little post show update. Um, vlog style video coming at you guys. We're gonna get a lift in. I'm excited to grow, man. I'm excited to grow. Last thing before I let you guys go ahead and enjoy the vlog is go ahead and hit that like button. Do that for me. Smash it, kill it, squash it. You know like when you have a fly flying around your house and you like, you use like a, a towel or an old shirt or something and try to smack that motherfucker and kill it? That's how I want you to hit the like button. And then also, if you enjoy the content you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And after you do that, go to the comment section. Let me know you subscribe so I can personally thank you. Enjoy the rest of the vlog, guys. Love this YouTube shit. Let's get it. One thing I've been implementing the past like week and a half that has been, dude, nothing less than a game changer is hitting cardio. About 10 incline, 3.4 speed right before I jump into my workout. So it's like that blood is flowing. You work up a nice sweat to where like you're dripping a little bit when you get off the machine. And then it's like that first working set that you do, you have a nasty pump already. Opposed to like when I'm cold coming in the gym, don't do any cardio. I might be on my second, ex halfway through the sets of my second, third exercise before I'm even like beginning to feel pumped. So like, it's nice. I was just telling Tim about it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a different a little experience. This arm pump gonna be nasty.
All right, check it out. We're gonna end the video here. I don't know if it was a short one yet, but it was a simple one. Little show recap, little arm workout, and that is it. But let me just let y'all know, I have some content coming. There's some things that are in the works or that have just been worked, worked on, I don't know. But definitely some exciting and like a variety and a lot of content coming soon. So expect some new videos. Um, I am still committing myself to one time a week, but I'm pushing soon to two uploads per week. Uh, I got the official off-season plan that we're gonna use to attack, to build, to put our head down and work. And my favorite phrase I've, be, I've been saying recently, hood up, head down mentality. We are working. I will go over that in the next video, so make sure you look out for that one. If you are not subscribed yet, what are you doing? If you haven't hit the like button yet, what are you doing? I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.